This is a special video for special education teachers who are working to provide accommodations and support to students with special needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can provide those accommodations through Google Classroom. Now, the first thing that I would recommend is that you request an invitation to the course of the general education teachers. So you are going to push in to their Google Classroom to provide the learning support that the students um, need. So the, the teacher you're working with would need to go to their Google Classroom, go to the People tab, click on the Invite button, and add you as a co-teacher before you would be able to do any of the things that I'm going to demonstrate for you. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to walk you through three different ways that you can provide accommodations to students. Um, they're going to go from the easiest to the most complex. All three of these solutions are good and plausible. You'll have to kind of select the best approach based on your unique situation and the students that you are working with. All right, let's dive in. So option one is uh, to provide students with additional instructions by adding a private comment. So here is an assignment that uh, students are going to be working on. This is a close reading activity. Students are going to read an article and then highlight the main ideas, thoughts, thesis, supporting evidence, etc. Okay, so uh, this assignment is ready to go. We're going to post it to the class. Now we are using the option. It's a, there's a, a Google Doc template here and we have the option for make a copy for each student so that everyone will get their own okay so those are the parameters for this now we're just going to post this to everyone so students who have ieps gen ed students we're just going to post it to everyone so i'm going to go ahead and click assign now um the the gen ed teacher would assign this work to the students and then you as the special education teacher would go to the students that you work with um, we're going to go to view assignment and uh, let's say that Edmund is the student uh, that requires a little bit of extra support. We're going to click on his name and you can add a private comment. So you might say uh, something like, hey Edmund, don't forget you're welcome to use select and speak to listen to this article as you read. So that's just a reminder that Edmund could use the um, this, uh, text to speech feature of the Chromebook to uh, listen to that assignment. So we could post that and Edmund would see that. You might also, uh, maybe this is due on Tuesday, but you could leave a private comment and say, hey Edmund, I talked with Mrs. Smith and she agreed that you uh, have until Wednesday to complete this assignment. So you can just add those additional comments and notes for the student. Only Edmund is going to see those comments and they can reply back to you if necessary. Now, this is a, a good option for very simple accommodations, really just reminders like, hey, don't forget you can use Read Write for Google. Don't forget you can use dictation or voice typing uh, for your response, things like that. But we're not actually modifying the assignment itself. Okay. This is option one. Option two is to modify the actual assignment. Now, uh, let's just review. This assignment was posted so that each student gets their own copy of the original. And that copy is identical for every single person. A second way that you can provide accommodations, and this one works well, but you have to be quick. So the teacher will assign the work to the entire class. You, as the special education teacher, would then go to the individual student. We'll go back to Edmund. This is Edmund's version, Edmund's copy of the assignment. Okay. And so I am going to open this assignment and add modifications. Now we can tell that this is Edmund's version of the document because um, it'll say his name up here in the file name. And so I can go into the document and actually edit this so that only certain things uh, must be done. Um, so I might change the article. Perhaps I'll give him a, an easier version of the article with a, a lower lexile level. Um, maybe I'll take out one or two of the 
um, requirements of this article. Um, so I'm actually going to modify the actual attachment itself. Okay, I could copy and paste an entire new article in there. The trick with this modification is you have to be quick because if Edmund opens it and then you go in and later you change it, then that's going to cause a lot of confusion. So you have to kind of coordinate with the cooperating teacher, say, hey, I'm going to post this at 11. And so at 11, when it's posted, you have to go in and make the changes. You cannot do this in advance because you have to wait until Edmund's copy of the document has been made. Um, it's not until his comment is out um, that you can go, uh, his copy is out that you can make those uh, those changes. So that's um, option number two for modifying um, assignments. So option one was to leave a private comment. Option two is to edit the copy that is given to the individual student. There's one final option. This is the most complex of the three options, but uh, it's also gives you the most flexibility. So I'm actually going to start over again uh, with this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on reuse. I'm going to reuse the post that I just assigned. Okay. So let's pretend that I'm uh, getting ready to assign this to my students. I've got everything the way uh, that I want it. Um, but I'm not going to post it to everyone. For the third modification um, option, we are going to select the students who are going to receive this. Okay, We're going to leave everything the same, but we're going to go up here to the student drop-down. I'm going to deselect the student who requires the accommodations. So all of the gen ed students who will receive this assignment as it has been written here. I'm going to go ahead and, and assign that. So we'll post that to the class. Same thing, make a copy for each student, due date, all of that is uh, intact. But Edmund will not receive this. He'll have no idea that this assignment has been um, uh, sent out. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to send a new version to just Edmund. So I'm going to go up. And so the gen ed teacher would assign this to all of the regular ed students. The special ed teacher would then go to the create button, click on reuse post, select the assignment that was posted earlier. But this time we're only going to send the assignment to Edmund. The gen ed students, the regular students, they already have uh, their version, their copy of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my student selector deselect everyone, only select Edmund. Now I'll go ahead and make my accommodation. So we'll maybe say that uh, Edmund gets a little bit longer. So we'll make that uh, do later in the week. Um, I might attach a different article. I can give an entirely different assignment, change my instructions, add different links uh, for him as necessary. And then whenever I'm ready, I'll go ahead and press assign. Edmund will see his version of the assignment. The other students will see their version of the assignment. They happen to both be titled the same, so they won't really even know necessarily that there is uh, a variation. Now, the teacher is going to see two of them, but you can still tell who has received it. Um, if I go to the first assignment, right under the title, it'll tell me which students received this assignment. You'll notice Edmund is not on that list. Now, if I go to the second version, again, right under the title, it says one student, and I can see that this is Edmund's version of the file. So that's the third way to provide accommodations for students with special needs. Option one, send a private comment to the students, just you know, typing out what those accommodations are. Option two, quickly go in and modify the student's copy of the assignment and make those accommodations within their document. That one you have to be quick. You have to get to it before they do. Option three is to post two versions of the assignment, one for the gen ed students and one for students who uh, require special accommodations. Hopefully that is a helpful review of how you can support all the students in your classroom.